Honorable Member for Burnaby, New Westminster. That's not balanced at all. Sinoc has no obligation to protect Canadian jobs. And even the Prime Minister admitted this type of deal is bad for Canada. Canadians deserve better than this, Mr. Speaker. Now we find out there are three more Conservative MPs raising their concerns. Now, this deal is now undergoing extensive review in the U.S., while in Canada, Conservatives simply rubber stamp the sell-off. Well, why are Conservatives dismissing Canadians' concerns, turning a blind eye to concerns in the U.S., and even ignoring the concerns from their own caucus? Shame. The Honourable Minister of Industry. On the contrary, Mr. Speaker, we brought clarity for the rules, and when we speak about foreign takeovers by state-owned enterprises, Mr. Speaker, we speak about the end of a trend, not the beginning of a trend. Mr. Speaker, you have at the extreme of a spectrum the Liberals who would uh, uh, accept uh, each form of signal deal without any scrutinize. And when you uh, see at the other end of uh, the spectrum, the other extreme, Mr. Speaker, you have the NDP who would virtually block everything. They are even against NAFTA, Mr. Speaker. They are anti-trade. This is not responsible, Mr. Speaker. We are open for foreign investment.